Hello and welcome to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today we are cutting a whole bunch of rocks. All kinds of things, geodes, wood, whatever. Let's see what we got. Starting this off with some of the bird's eye marble with the shell fossil. And this one became a nice ice cream cone. Nice. Got a nice flat dugway geode here. Oh, nice. Like it. Here we have another piece of Vernon Wonderstone. Look pretty nice from here, so we cut it. Ooh, oh wow. That looks really nice. Very nice color and patterns. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Here we've got a big cluster of limonite cubes. Ah, only a little bit of pyrite. Interesting. Another little dugway geode, the other side broke off. So we just got this piece. Still nice. Here was a nice long piece of petrified wood. I was like, doesn't look like much outside. Let's see. And look at that inside. Isn't that beautiful? It's actually a really nice piece. Even little twigs like this can be really nice inside. This is a little piece of the agate from Drug, Drum Mountains. Oh, look at that. Ooh, the banding at the top's are really nice. And the rest of it's really cool, this pattern of red intermixed with kind of the colorless to white. Here's somewhat, this is called Picasso Marble. It comes from, a, from an old claim down southern Utah that I went to a long time ago. I don't think I can go there anymore. But look at that. Isn't that stuff beautiful? The webbing in it. So this is, if you hold it like this, imagine that as a big, a nice tree. It's a Halloween rock. Yeah, perfect for Halloween. There's another thin geode. Okay. Not too bad. We've had better though. So this is some of what you call snakeskin agate. This came from Nevada. And that's what it looks like inside. Usually they're not the best looking things. Still, they're very interesting. There's another piece of petrified wood. Oh, that's not too bad, considering it doesn't look great on the outside. Here's some more of that kind of agatized barite from Cisco and Yellow Cat. And not the best looking one, but I do like that red right in the middle there. This is some magnetite from the iron mines down by Cedar City. Oh, look at that. Look at the blue in that, the agate. That is, that is stunning, isn't it? That is beautiful. Wow. More of this, please. Here's a little cluster of geodes. And oh, not too bad. More of a thunder egg. Very nice. This was another piece of the Drum Mountain Agate. The rest of this kind of fractured, but this little piece is decent. You can actually see light through this if you hold it up to the sun. And for the final one, we have this big agate that I think came from that spot of Tim's. The one that's the uh, little Moab area chimney rock. Oh, ooh, okay, very interesting. Why don't you get a little closer look at some of that? Very, very interesting. Okay, I like it. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. That's it for today's episode. Whole bunch of good looking stuff. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you on the next one. Until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.